Hi YouTubers, I uh, finally got my game room sorted out so I thought I'd uh, just take you around and give you a quick tour of what I've got and see now it must be. Right, here we've got Master System collection uh, I'm going for a full PAL set almost at half, I think about 15 away from being half Let's quickly pan along these. Don't know if they're reading properly, but you get an idea of what I've got. And a box menace there. So I'm going to keep hitting the zoom button. <laughs> um, some Mega Drive games. There's a load of boxed Game Gear games. More plastic cases. Some box ones here, just a couple. I haven't really got many. I've uh, got a couple of box Game Gears. Leafly and Forza Gun. TV tuner. You can use it nowadays, but it's still part of the collection. And some Knights. It's a Dreams hat there as well. I've got that. Free when I bought the game when it first came out. It's a Justifier, the pink one, two player. We've got Mega Drive, Mega CD, Mega Drive 2, a couple of pads in there, multiplayer. And a multi mega behind there, and our system converter. It's a random case for keeping your game gear waterproof. Uh, oh yeah, this here is Beyond Zero Tolerance. It was going to be the sequel to Zero Tolerance, but they ended up canning it just before they finished it. That's a beta version. It's about 98%. All the levels are there. There's just some sound that I'm missing. It's got a cool game. Some box mass systems. One and two. 3D glasses. Uh, down here we've got this is one TV, that was the kids playing in the mix. And then do it, and if you can see, the camera's a bit rubbish in a minute. This is some consoles as well. The Philips CDI, Panic, Sonic 3DO, GameCube. They're just all connected up. And here we've got some box satin stuff, pads, wheels, arcade stick. Dreamcast fishing rod, video card, memory card, and down here is the Dreamcast stuff, keyboard, mouse, usual stuff, some Dreamcast games, these not as empty cases, these have actually got games in them. Some sample promotional ones which they gave out to the press. It was that NBA 2K2 that one? And then I've also got Shenmue as well. That's quite a good, nice one to have. <laughs> and then over here we got Saturn games, some big box Mega CD games. Some more Saturn games. Somebody Amigo. Mario Kart Wii Hat. <laughs> and this is a Metal Gear Solid 2 promotional book. That's designed by Hijo Kazima. So that's kind of good. And then I can get up here. Some shelving. Got my. The injury pocket there. And then there's just all the Game Boy stuff. The wonderful one Swan there. Tiger Lynx games. Engage and some games. Pull it down again. N64 stuff. Oop, that zoom button again. 
So I've got my dodgy camera work here. Let you buy some games. Power glow. <laughs> Games. Not got much. Not got a lot in their stuff. And then there's the Japanese Famicom stuff. Disc system. Some cards. SD station. So you can record the music from games. And plug up and that. A remote control. Toad. Then PlayStation 1, original, that's my original one I got when they first came out. The screen for the smaller one, the mouse there, and it's also a pocket station, which was PlayStation's answer to the virtual memory, memory card the Dreamcast did. The Donkey Kong board game. And Resident Evil Pad. These are my PlayStation games. It's a bit dark. Lighting's not very good in here. Yeah. Final Fantasy 7 there. I've also got two sealed copies there as well. And then to Mega CD games. Just quickly pan on these. Thirty two X, couple of thirty X games. So come down here, some old Mega Drive games. Right, onto the shelf. And the bottom, they're all the Philips CDI. I have some games, some films. Can't keep getting in the way. It's my tarry carts. They all go. It's double stacked. I don't know if you really see in there. Philips video pack games. I've got some Commodore Vic 20 cart cartridge games. Uh, Vertrex games. Television games there. Uh, some game com games, they were sealed ones. Well, I was trying to go for a full set of sealed of them, but I got to about got to that many, and then I can't seem to find any more anywhere. Box to carry games. Sixty-four. Again, not that. Great deal. It's only really my system I've got a lot of games for. Snare stuff. Not there, but fan fancy games for the uh, Japanese NES. <laughs> and here we got Jaguar games. Peace Engine DT, two games for that. <laughs> and these are Jaguar games. And on to Game Boy ones. Game Boy Color and Advanced. These are all Panasonic. Yeah, 3DO ones, yeah. These are just some tapes for the Spectrum, Commodore 64, and Acorn Electron. And some random CD demos. Pan out a bit. Now, this is uh, it's like this little arcade table thing I made quite a long time ago. It's currently got uh, Saturn plugged into it. What you do is 
then there the drawer slides out and there's the satins in there. It's not on in a minute because that TV's broke. <laughs> so I'll try and find another one of them. Okay, some DS games, Tomb Raider board game, Barcode Battler, there's a box game com. Also the game combo light. That actually makes him a little bit easier to play on him. It's got a bat light on it. And box of tires. Commodore 20. Panasonic box. Infinite tones. Got there. You go. 32 CD. GX4000, that's the boxed links pad. And then there's a new Vatrex. We're running Hyper Chase in the minute. And there's a Adam's Grandstand game. It's a bit like the Benny Tones, but they've got games on carts. The old Spectrum there. In television. Er, uh, Clicker Vision, sorry. There. Harry Woody box behind there, box Acon Electron there, Jaggy River there, pads and the link cable, it's another Atari there, and there's a great game called Seaweed Assault. Got it off uh, someone, it's a homebrew game, just gone to Atari Age, there's more details about it on there. There's the box of television, a Dragon 32 home computer. Um, GameCube stuff here. There goes a couple of boxes. Some DS Game and Watch collection. Game Boy Micro Special Edition one. And uh, Game and Watch games there, more boxed. Um, that's that's about it really. Um, a couple of games up there. And some, over here we just got really PC games. And down there some more Panasonic. 3DO games and original Xbox games. Books, what Tom hands and stuff in. Uh, over there, some boxes for Halo 3 and Reach and stuff boxes. And this is just my, my little workshop. I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, I do quite a bit of modding on consoles and they make them into portables and stuff. That's where that all happens. Uh, and that's about it. Oh. Thanks for watching. See you later.